Hello friends, this is Shweta Bush. Welcome to my YouTube channel, Archie Shweta Bush. Today I will give you all details about the uh, Simonium plant because this is uh, one of the most beautiful ornamental plant uh, as per my experience. Uh, because of its beautiful arrowhead leaves, it looks amazing. And uh, the most important thing about Simonium is that it grows rapidly. It has rapid growth. It grows like anything. Doesn't matter whatever you keep this plant indoor or outdoor in low sunlight in indirect sunlight in shaded area wherever you can keep it anywhere in your bedroom drawing room uh, dining table uh, but for sure it will grow and it will grow very first without any maintenance that's the most important thing only thing uh, you need to give water because syngonium uh, generally likes uh, humidity uh, so it needs water so it doesn't need uh, a lot of water but just uh, soak the soil that's it and you can also grow it in uh, water so in case you are growing it in water make sure you change the water in every five days or in every day so let's check out everything about syngonium Hello friends, welcome to my Syngonium garden. Uh, as you already know, Syngonium is uh, my favorite plant because of the beautiful leaves it has got and uh, just because of the shape of the leaf of Syngonium, it is also called uh, arrowhead plant. As you see this uh, three cards, it looks like arrow. If you, if I show you a closer look, you can see the shape of the leaf. It exactly looks like arrow. It is uh, native to uh, tropical rainforest in southern Mexico, the West Indies, Central and South America. It requires high humidity but not direct sunlight. It can uh, resist, I mean it can survive under indirect sunlight or even low light but uh, it is difficult to uh, survive under uh, direct sunlight. If you keep the plants under direct sunlight, the chances are there that the leaves will be burned it will become brown in color although i have kept all these syngoniums under direct sunlight but i generally pour a lot of water and i make sure in the summer i don't keep this um, syngonium plants under direct sunlight in the summer just because it's winter in india and that's why i have kept these plants under direct sunlight the arid vines wants to spread out and extend in all direction. Uh, see this plant, this vine. And uh, again, this is a vine in this. So it's your choice. If you want to make it bushy, you can cut the vine and propagate it in water or maybe in soil. And you can give it a bushy look. And uh, like the one i will show you like this one if you see this plant see i have i always cut the vine and uh, it has become bushy again this plant you can see the vine so for this what i will do i will just cut so it's important before cutting it you understand the nodes, the root of the vines. So if you see this, this is a node, right? This is a node. So if you cut this plant from here, you can grow it as a separate plant. Again, this is a node. you can see the root so 
see if you look at this vine so this is the root okay the root is coming out coming out the aerial root again this is the root it is the aerial root and this is the node so if you cut this vine from here so it will grow as a separate plant you can propagate it in water or in the soil it's your choice so this is the cutting and you can see this uh, root so i will propagate it in water and i will show you how i propagate it in water but make sure when you cut you cut uh, from below the root okay if you really want to grow it as a separate plant and also if you want from this as there is a root so you can also you could have also cut it from here and could have grown it as a separate plant now regarding the watering you should let the soil dry as it's here the soil is dry and once the soil is completely dry then you can pour water so see the i have not uh, given water just to show you that what is the right time to give water to syngonium plants so syngonium likes the humidity so you now it's the right time that you should give water so these are my <laughs> beautiful uh, syngoniums and uh, as i have uh, cut two vines so i will show you how i propagate uh, the vines in water as a separate plant friends i'll show you how you can propagate the vines in water so just take a glass of water and don't fill the entire glass with water it's three fourth water is uh, good enough and uh, this two vines that i got from my syngonia so just put it inside the water and see so this is how you can grow your uh, grow the vines inside water and uh, with time it will uh, grow and uh, you can keep it anywhere you, you can keep it inside your bedroom or um, on your study table or on your dining table and just make sure that you keep changing the water in every week thanks for watching my video and if you like my video please subscribe my channel and share my videos thank you bye bye